Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, you catch me today on my final day off from work. Uh, that is, you know, the, the time off I, I took for uh, doing uh, the small Glasgow drift off. Back to the grindstone tomorrow, so I thought I'd go out for a bit of a ride. Um, you, you, you get me uh, on the back to the River Seven, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, talk about. Uh, 2022, 2022, and um, I plan to next year and what, well, not my plans, but what my thoughts are as to what I uh, might get up to next year. Uh, have a very, very uh, um, trip planned to do into End of Ireland um, with some former work colleagues. I can't really see it going off, to be honest. It's one of those things where, oh, let's all do it. And, 18 months later, nobody's planned anything, so I, that's doubtful that's going to happen. Um, I think I'm going to do, probably have another start at Bristol, Glasgow, Bristol for next year and have a bit of a, a proper physical um, preparation for it. Um, what else? Uh, winter, I think I'm going to do some of Will. Will's uh, long rides, uh, probably the ride out to Cambridge again. I've done that twice before, and it's a it's a good good uh, challenge. I'm not going to succumb to his uh, his other uh, 500 kilometre ride. Uh, I think that's probably a bit too much for me, to be honest. Uh, certainly at that time of year, uh, it's a lot of ride in the dark, and you know I, I always find it quite hard. To ride in the dark so it uh, kind of affects me, affects me out a little bit um, yeah so we're uh, actually I'm going to show you where I am today actually because it's uh, it's quite peaceful I quite like it down here so that's the uh, that's the forest of Dean you can see over there in the distance the other side of the river and as you can see the uh, the river Severn has the second highest tidal range in the world. There's some river in China I believe that is uh, it's, uh, more uh, as a, a bigger tidal range and at the moment as you can see plenty of sandbanks so the water is, is out, the tide is out. Uh, it's not a particularly warm day to be honest with you, it's, uh, it's a northeasterly wind and uh, yeah, as you can see it's a bit, a bit cloudy, a bit overcast and uh, my plan is to uh, ride north so I'll get the headwind bit out of the way first, up to Tewkesbury, and then just basically come back again through the lanes. And I just thought, well, whilst I'm here, I'll come off route slightly, just to uh, just to uh, have a bit of a chat and you know talk about what my plans are coming up uh, for riding the bike. I am I'm still um, at the moment work out what I want to do with this YouTube channel. To be perfectly honest, um, there's a lot of people that, that do this kind of thing. You know, people like Adam Watkins and Andy Curran and maybe it's a Richard Lake as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if there's too many, it gets all a bit samey. So uh, I've, I've got to get the thinking cap on and decide what I want to do with this, really. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to uh, see if I can get into the, uh, the Moon Rakers 300 data pool. See if I can get into that. Uh, I've entered uh, Mark Rigby's first uh, calendar event back since since Covid. Uh, it goes up to Daventry and back. Uh, that's a nice sort of uh, rolling ride. It's actually one of those rides that's a bit more hillier on the way back than it is on the way out, to be honest. But uh, yeah, this is a good, good, uh, good ride that. And uh, I've done it in shorts and short sleeves before now. I've actually got sunburn, despite it being in October. Um, so what am I doing after that? I'm doing, uh, oh, uh, about 10 days, but just over a week's time, I'm doing Will's Hard Cheese uh, ride. I quite like that one, actually. Uh, it's quite varied. You know, you've got the, uh, go down to Wilton, and I, I love that church down there. It's, uh, you know, very, uh, very Mediterranean looking. And that's the two uh, calendar events I've, I've uh, I've entered. I'm not going to do as many as I used to do. I'm going to carry on doing the DIYs. I, I quite enjoy the freedom of those. 
uh, you know, I can stop where I, where I want, and as long as I'm back in time, I'm, I'm not having to collect receipts and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, th I think I shall uh, cut down on the set calendar events of what I used to do, because I used to do as many as I could. Um, and I also, also used to try and do them within driving distance of that hour and a half of home, so uh, with the odd exception of something that took me fancy, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'll probably do Mark's events over the, over the winter. I think this one out to uh, the Taliban on Esk, I'll do that one as well because that's, that's quite a good ride. Not too hilly or anything daft like that. And uh, yeah, I think uh, what I'll do is rather than uh, just keep talking at this location, I'm going to move on and I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, I thought I'm just a couple of miles up the, up, upstream from where my uh, previous location was. Um, I'm at Epony. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but the uh, the anchor at Epony is just there, sight round the, the back of those uh, those trees over there. And um, I've stopped here because um, I work in Gloucester, and, and this is this is my commute home every night when I when I'm in <coughs> when I'm in the office, and uh, you know. Uh, I come past this spot quite a lot, and I, you know I've seen it in all weathers and what have you. But it's a, a popular uh, spot for uh, people who want to watch people surf the Severn Boar, and uh, so I've come across it a, a few times now, where I've, I've got to this location and there's people stood like I am now, looking out, and then you look out into, and you can hear it coming as well, and. Um, it's usually in the spring, uh, spring tides, the, the, the best ones that the surfers uh, use and uh, you know I, I've seen them in the dark doing it, uh, I couldn't do that and uh, they wear these little red lights on their chest, they look a bit like Iron Man you know and, uh, and they, they, they come up on the waves on, on the Severn Ball up, up through here. Um, one thing I, I, I want to uh, touch on which I mentioned in the previous clip and uh, that's to do with Andy Curran and Adam Watkins what I didn't say was they do some excellent videos really highly recommend them Adam's uh, I, I find Adam's uh, videos um, uh, I, uh, quite amusing with his girt piles of dirt and what have you so uh, you know uh, hunt him out on YouTube um, Adam Watkins who you're looking for and also there's Andy Curran and Andy Curran's uh, YouTube channel is called Andy's Adventures might be uh, there's all that in as well uh, but his, his YouTube channel does does all sorts of uh, stuff with camping and historical stuff and so that's well if, you, if you're not already uh, looking at those you know I, I highly recommend Andy's videos they're, they're pretty good I, I enjoy watching them uh, anyway uh, I suppose I'm going to move on, not get any more funny looks from people riding by, me talking to myself. Um, actually, before I leave, let's uh, just turn you around. And if I do that, so it, so basically that's that's where I was before. You could just see that hill there with the trees just poking on the top. Um, I was just in front of that uh, my previous clip and I've just come up around uh, a couple of miles or so uh, by road. It's, it's less than that on the river, but uh, the, by road it's a couple of miles. Hello, you uh, you catch me. I've just uh, joined the uh, Gloucester Sharpness Canal um, here at, uh, what's it called? I forget now, bridge. Oh, Re Bridge, Rear Bridge. Uh, see if I can do this and keep moving. Oops. I need a longer arm so you can see what's behind me as well. Um, yeah, so they've they've actually resurfaced this, and let me just change the uh, and angle right. Uh, so uh, yes, this is now a basically a tarmac surface and uh, non-slip as well. Brilliant. As you can see, it's big. Uh, you're probably going to now hear the, the wind 
that headwind that I've had. back and actually looking at it I think that's to do with the fishing there must be a competition on this weekend uh, sorry this is a little bit bumpy as if uh, I've got something uh, big planned, oops wrong one, to do that, a bit of a crane there, anyway about three or four miles further on from Epney, probably about a mile or so outside of Gloucester now so uh, I'm just going to uh, put the camera away and I'll just speak to you in a bit. So I just thought I'd stop here, I'm only a few hundred yards from where I was stopped before but this place I really love because uh, it's, this is um, part of my commute as well. I tend to use it more in the winter than I do in the summer. It gets a bit too busy in the summer for riding bikes through here really with loose dogs and people fishing and what have you. And uh, I don't blame them, it's, uh, it's lovely. Um, but uh, the, the point I'm trying to get to is that is one of the main, uh, on that bridge above the canal, it's one of the main uh, roads into Gloucester and uh, you're so close but it's so quiet, it's so lovely away from that traffic. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go under the bridge and follow the canal around. And uh, I'm gonna catch you again at Olney Island. Um, I'll explain what that is in a second. So I'm just on the outskirts of Gloucester, I've not quite got to Olney Island yet, but uh, just a quickie. Uh, as you can see they're building uh, flats for, uh, shall we say, older people. Uh, it looks like a prison to me, but anyway. Um, I wonder how many of them realised that when they were clearing this, this land out, they found a World War II which is a century device. <laughs> so I wonder how many more are under there. Anyway, onwards. So you, you know, catch me in Gloucester docks, and uh, this is the, uh, the shipbuilders. Oh, they do repairs, I think, rather than more than uh, building ships. But uh, I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, this, um, oh, what would you call it? A dock. Uh, it's full of water at the moment, but I've seen it completely empty before now. And uh, whether the boat's leaving or it's it's just arrived, I don't know. But uh, yes, it's. Uh, Good. So I'm just uh, going to walk over the lock gates in a second and uh, let's just show you uh, the rest of what's going on. I'm walking across here because uh, there's some nice slats down there to leave me wheeling and it's not the right thing to do. without any water in it so that is that will be the same as what's over there but that one's full up so, uh, yeah join me on the Olney Islands. This is a uh, nature reserve. I think it's a bit more like a uh, 
wetlands and wildfowl type thing. Um, it's obviously a, a path. Um, and it is an island. Uh, to the right of the picture, uh, the River Severn, and to the left of the picture is the River Severn. It splits, and basically you get this, uh, this island in the middle. And uh, there is a cycle path through it. The only problem with this place is it floods when we get a lot of rain. And uh, there's lots of people out today enjoying their uh, it's the end of their summer holidays. Anyway, it's going to get a bit bumpy, so I'm going to stop here. Yeah, we're still a bit uh, on the Aldi Island the sort of northern part of it now. Uh, the surface is sort of, uh, sort of gravel really. Uh, here's a little bit of a bumpy bit back there uh, which I had to stop filming because it's a bit too bumpy. Um, but it's lovely just to miss out the busy bit. Uh, so probably 200 yards in front of me is the A40 uh, comes in from uh, Ross and Y and places like that and uh, you can see the traffic over there that is the uh, the road out of Gloucester uh, to the Ring Road, Northern Ring Road as you can see here there's some rail lines there was actually a power station here many years ago and I suspect the uh, the uh, rail lanes are to do with that uh, and it looks like some sort of energy place here I don't know what that is but uh, I'm this cattle grid uh, yeah they do have cows on that graze on on this land as well and uh, there's no, there doesn't seem to be a bank today so it must be somewhere else uh, no, <laughs> some of them have quite big horns and you ride across here sometimes and uh, you're like, bloody hell, he looks a bit scary. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I think that rusty thing in front of us, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's actually a railway line. So that will take you down to Lydney and then on to Newport, that kind of thing. And uh, we're actually going to go under this, this railway line here. I could do this. Right, I've had an accident. And through the tunnel. It's just uh, exiting uh, Olney Island now, and I just thought I'd stop here. Uh, so this this is Telford's Bridge. So this is I think it was Thomas Telford who built it. I don't really know much about the history of it, but uh, this is the modern A40 bridge here, and we're going to go under that uh, any second now uh, to go under it. So I need to turn around uh, back onto the path. So this is a Sestrans route, and uh, it just takes it takes you alongside the the river. I'm just going to walk up here actually, so that be easier to show you, and uh, I don't feel quite so self-conscious as people about but uh, yes over there under the span is the River Severn this obviously all floods in the winter when we get lots of rain and I don't know if you can see on the far side but there is um, let's see if I can zoom in a bit there's a there's a fence there and that's another cycle path the other side and you can go around there and it takes you up over Telford's Bridge which I was just talking about anyway Onwards. Ah, well, you catch me at Forthampton, and I just thought I'd show you this uh, um, avenue of trees, and you know the uh, the obvious signs of a change of sea uh, season. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing about cycling; you can kind of see the early signs. Here we are, September the first. Look at these trees. Okay, but they've uh, already changed brown. I don't know whether that's uh, stress for lack of water, or it's just autumn has come early in, in Cheeksbury. 
anyway. It's a lo lovely stretch of road. I hope you can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> And I saw that hotel. Had to sleep about 50 people in there. <laughs> Actually, there's, there's a building up here I want to show you. This thatched barn or whatever that is. How lovely that is. Well, I'm going, to assume, I'm going to wrap up the video here, but I uh, just thought I would uh, show you this little uh, shortcut to avoid Hardwick roundabout and all the people rushing to get home from work. So, uh, wait till I get around this corner. And uh, that's the, uh, the M5 over there. Uh, it's actually the slip road up on St Junction. Uh, oh, that's a good question. What junction is that? Uh, 12? Junction 12. Anyway, so I'm running along parallel to it and this is rather bumpy. So I'm going to sign off now. Thank you very much for coming along with me today. Uh, probably do something on, on the weekend. So I might video that as well. Anyway. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.